Welcome to this Advent Computer's Guide to Troubleshooting Network Problems with your PC. Most of the time, setting up your network connection is nice and simple during the initial setup of your PC. If you're connected by cable, everything is done automatically. And if you're using a wireless network, you simply have to follow the prompts to connect to it during the setup process. Sometimes, however, things can go wrong. You lose access to the internet, perhaps, or you're finding it difficult sharing files with other PCs on the network. In this guide, we'll take you through some of the most effective troubleshooting steps available to help you get connected, plus sort out those file sharing problems. The first thing to do is perform some basic checks. If you're struggling to connect to the internet on more than one of your home computers or mobile devices, the problem almost certainly lies with your internet connection or modem router. Try switching off the modem and router for 30 seconds, then switch back on again. This clears the router's memory and can fix many problems. If the internet connection is still not working, try restarting your PC, then call your internet provider for further troubleshooting advice and a line check if necessary. If the problem is limited to a single PC on your network, then first check your wireless adapter is switched on if applicable. Look for the light on the front of your wireless adapter or laptop. If it's not on, look for a switch or key to press to enable it. For example, you need to hold the function key and press F4 on Advent N-Series laptops. If your PC is connected via an Ethernet cable, check the cable isn't damaged and is plugged in securely at both ends. Further connection problems can be tackled in Windows from the desktop. Windows 8 users must first either click the desktop tile or press Windows plus D to access it. Now locate the wireless or wired network icon in the taskbar's notification area, which you'll find on the bottom right of the screen. It should indicate if there's some kind of connection issue. Look for a yellow exclamation mark or red cross. Whatever you find, right-click the icon and choose Open Network and Sharing Centre. Windows 7 provides a network map indicating clearly whether or not you have internet access. Windows 8 tells you if you have internet access next to access type. If the connection is broken, click the Troubleshoot Problems link at the bottom of the window. Try the Internet Connections Troubleshooter first. Select the Troubleshooter, then click Advanced before clicking Run as Administrator to ensure the Troubleshooter has all the access it needs to fix your problem. Click Next and wait while the Troubleshooter runs. Answer any questions asked, wait again and hopefully a resolution to your problem will be provided. Click Next followed by Close to Finish. If it doesn't work, try the Network Adapter Troubleshooter next. These two troubleshooters should, between them, fix most connection problems. It's rare for your computer's firewall to block all internet access, but it can be responsible for blocking individual programs. Instructions for resolving this vary from firewall to firewall. But if you're using Windows' own firewall tool in Windows 7 or 8, try the following. First, Perform a search for Firewall from the Start menu or Start screen. Windows 7 users should then click Allow a program through Windows Firewall under Control Panel. While Windows 8 users should select Settings, then click Allow an app through Windows Firewall. Click Change Settings. If your desired program isn't in the list, click Allow another program or Allow another app to select your chosen app from another list. And if it's not in this list, you can click Browse to manually select it from your hard drive. Once done, click Add. You'll notice the private box is ticked. Tick the public box next to the program only if you want to give it internet access outside your home network. Click OK to finish. Home groups are designed to make sharing files and devices on your network a simple, straightforward affair. However, you should remember that home groups only work on PCs running Windows 7 or Windows 8. If your network includes computers running earlier versions of Windows, or Linux or Mac OS, use the standard file sharing options instead, which we'll explain shortly. Assuming all of your PCs are compatible with home groups, your first port of call for troubleshooting should be the Action Center. Right-click the flag icon in the notification area of the taskbar and choose Troubleshoot a Problem. Select Network and Internet and click Home Group to launch a dedicated troubleshooter. Follow the instructions and see whether or not the troubleshooter was able to fix your problem. If the troubleshooter fails to resolve your problem, there are other things you can check. 
First, home groups will only work on networks designated as home or private. Verify the network designation on each PC by opening the Network and Sharing Centre. If the network is designated Work or Public, you'll need to change it. To do this, Windows 7 users should click the Work or Public link underneath the network name, then select Home from the dialog box that appears. Windows 8 users should close the Network and Sharing Centre, then click the Network and Sharing icon in the Taskbar Notification area to reveal basic network information. Right-click your connection and choose Turn Sharing On or Off. Also verify that Public Folder Sharing is enabled. From the main Network and Sharing Center screen, click Change Advanced Sharing Settings. Then check the Turn On Sharing option under Public Folder Sharing is selected. You'll find this under Home or Work in Windows 7 and under All Networks in Windows 8. If you encounter an error 0x8063294, then you need to check that a special protocol called IPv6 is enabled. To do this, click the Ethernet or Wi-Fi link next to connections on the main Network and Sharing Centre screen. Click the Properties button, then scroll down and verify the TCP slash IPv6 entry is present and ticked, clicking OK to finish. If all else fails and you're still unable to set up a home group successfully, revert to traditional file sharing, which has the added advantage of also working with earlier versions of Windows like XP and Vista, as well as other computers running Linux and Mac OS. Don't forget to leave any home groups you're currently part of. To do this, click the joined link on the main screen and click leave the home group. Select leave the home group again to complete the task. Sharing files between PCs can be the trickiest part of setting up a network, particularly if your network has older PCs attached to it. To ensure trouble-free file sharing, follow these steps on all of your PCs. First, verify they're all on the same network, so file sharing is much easier. Open the Network and Sharing Centre by right-clicking its Taskbar Notification Area icon and choosing Open Network and Sharing Centre. From here, Vista users should click Manage Network Connections, while Windows 7 and 8 users should click Change Adapter Settings. Double-click your adapter and then click the Details button. Make a note of the information you need for each PC, its IP or IPv4 address, subnet mask and default gateway. Make sure everything matches except the last digit of your IP slash IP4 address, which should be unique to each PC on your network. Click Close. Next, Windows 7 and 8 users need to verify that the network is set to Home, Work or Private, following the guide in the Home Group part of this video. Now you're ready to configure file sharing on each of the PCs in your network so they can see each other and share folders. Return to the Network and Sharing Centre. Vista users will find the sharing settings on this page. Windows 7 and Windows 8 users need to click Change Advanced Sharing Settings first. Verify both Network Discovery and File and Printer Sharing are both set to on. You'll also need to choose Use User Accounts and Passwords to connect to other computers under Home Group Connections. Click Save Changes and Sign Out or Restart if prompted. From here, sharing folders is relatively simple. Browse the folder you wish to share with others, then right-click it and choose Share With, followed by Specific People. A list of groups and all the user accounts on your computer will appear. Everyone means anyone can access the folder without having to provide a username or password. The best choice for sharing with your family, but potentially insecure. Click on a person's name to change the access level to the folder. Choose Read to allow them to only copy files from the folder, and select Remove to remove that person or group's access to the folder entirely. For security purposes, we recommend setting the Everyone group to Read Only, for example. Click Share to finish, and the folder should now be accessible to other computers on your network.